This episode, we are going to be building a sleeping platform. If you um, if you saw our last episode, we went to Alabama Hills, and we did okay. We just uh, we just pretty much just threw uh, a um, blow up mattress in the back, a uh, XPED Mega Mat, and it worked fine. But it's a lot of work to pull all your gear out, and make the bed, and when you're gonna leave, you got to make the bed. You got to take everything out, and load your gear back up. So. I think we're gonna put a platform in. A few of the features that I want in this platform are, it's gotta have headroom. Because a lot of the builds that I see on YouTube, they're built high so people can put drawers in and out. I don't want that. I need, we need headroom. But I don't wanna sacrifice any of the storage underneath. So I do wanna be able to put some things under the bed. Um, but I also wanna have the headroom and I also wanna be able to store stuff on top of the platform if we're not using it key features right it's got to be strong it's got to be stable it's got to be able to mount to the existing pick points in the truck bed with that in mind i think it's time to come up with a design it's time to come up with a parts list and a lumber list let's get started on this let's try to get i want to try to get this done before our next camping trip i guess there's nothing left to do except for like come up with a drawing so let's do it going to get the lumber this week we might uh just wait until next week but i'll be running out of time i want to get this built and installed by our next camping trip we're not going to use the platform but i want to be able to organize uh, our gear and get everything situated and uh i'm just excited i just want to see what it's going to look like good morning We got school, time to go learn. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you this morning? Wake her up, Luna. Luna. Wake up, sister. Give her a kiss. Give her sister kisses. Yeah. All right, you said if Luna gave you Basito, you gotta get up. <laughs> All right, we're here at the depot, checking out some wood. Let's see, this is kind of like what I want to get, but I don't know. Is that going to be thin? That's got way too much flex in it. I think we're going to have to go with the three-quarter like this stuff right here. Yeah. It's going to have to be three-quarter. <laughs>
All right, we're back. We're out of the depot. So, yeah, I feel like we did pretty good. I mean, we only spent like 76 bucks, 74, $75 and 46 cents on the hardware. 75, 46, I'm not complaining at all. If I can get the plywood and the, uh, and the four by fours for under a hundred bucks, we're literally, we're gonna be under, uh, we're gonna be way under our $300 budget. And I got all the cheap stuff too. I didn't even get like the halfway decent stuff, but I, I'm i pretty sure this is all gonna work out just fine. Need to pick up uh, carpet too. So I'm literally gonna get, just get the cheapest carpet that they have there at Home Depot. It's just like a $20 roll. So if I can get the carpet, the plywood, the four by four, for a hundred bucks we're gonna be stoked next scene we're gonna see each other either at home depot getting lumber or you'll see me in the back of uh, the suburban see how it goes i'll uh we'll be checking in here shortly i'll talk to you later all right well i guess so you kind of got a little bit of a verbal <laughs> rundown but yeah you won't you won't get what I'm saying until probably it's built. So we'll get that installed soon. Hopefully next week. I don't think we're going to we're going camping next week. We got we got priorities. We got to take care of. We got places to go. Birthday parties to attend. So we will definitely get this done by our Kernville trip. That's for sure. It would have been nice to be able to slide those bins underneath, but just too tall. I got some. Uh, some bins from Amazon coming in. They're uh, like under bed shoe organizers. So those should uh, work out pretty good, hopefully. Yeah. I'm gonna go fishing today. I'm gonna take Oshi out, so gotta get some tackle. All right. See you guys at Home Depot when the time's right. You recording me? I'm being working, recorded. Dad. Being working. recorded. No cameras ah. on the job site. What's up, Bubba? Get me out. All right. As you can see, we uh, got all our supplies. I think that's everything. Everything's all cut. Everything's all measured. And, uh... It's time to get to work. I think we'll do this uh, first thing in the morning. I gotta get home and get some sleep. Mom and Oshi are in the truck right now. His patience was, uh, he was done. He was over at Home Depot, so. Yeah, we got all our stuff. I don't think we need to buy anything else. Let's do this. All right, kind of like moment of truth to see if the uh, bottom cut actually fits. Oh yeah, okay. Perfect, I can still use them. All right, fits. Are you driving? Honk the horn, bub. Looks like I got a little help today. My little construction worker right here. Look it, she's all ready. She's got her boots on. Or you. <laughs>
Okay, so got the bottom done. Add some brackets and then add the top. So yeah. Small side will be for bins. Large side will be for a bin. product so far it's not installed there you go we can get access to all our things So it's in. We just need to secure it. Right there and right there. Right there. Ooh. Right there. For now, I could just throw a strap over the top. You did it, Papa. All right. So if you enjoyed that video, let me know. If not, I'll never make another one like that again. Project was uh, pretty fun. So uh, that's it. That's it for this video. And uh, the next video will actually uh, put it to use.